Previously on Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition. With only two days left before making the biggest decision of their lives. Do you two know what you're doing? I have no idea what we're doing. Tell me about this never ending wedding that never has a date. Have the couples hit rock bottom? He's still cheating. He's only going to divorce here. <laughs> While some have made sacrifices, she is so tired. Others chose to save themselves. You would rather protect your image and hurt her? Yeah. Damn. Carl faced the music about his late night FaceTime. I know you did, liar. Tammy dropped a bomb about Tiffany. Yeah, I don't. Right. Before you came in here. And have Soldier Boy and Nia crashed and burned. Shut up! Shut the up! Tonight, the couples have one last chance to get the truth. The results of your lie detector test. Before it's too late. Can you commit to Tammy? That's what we're doing. We can't be together. Deception was indicated. The VIP room is closed. You act like a bitch, not a boss. Five hip hop couples struggling to survive. They don't know how inconsistent your ass is. Count, count, boy. Oh! Dr. Ish and Dr. V are their last shot. Look like to me you were having one of them side piece conversations. You disrespecting me. Learn how to talk to me. Once you got with me, your life has leveled up. She needs to be controlled. I can beat your ass. Sometimes I feel like this relationship is over. You keep blaming me for the past. Will they level up? I just feel like I gave up. Or wreck it all. He could be sleeping next to the devil and not even know it. <laughs> Let me go. This is Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Wake up! You okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing's not. How's it going? Okay. She's playing mind games. I see straight through it. If we was at home, none of this would be happening. What is it with you? He's so immature, and I don't feel like I know if boot camp is working for us right now. I don't think I will until, until we leave. How you doing? Morning. Um, day by day, it's getting less confusing for me, but there's still emotions and feelings there. I'm tripping out Tiffany, man. Yo, I was just about to say that. I was like, but I didn't know she was saying it right there. There's nothing to talk about nobody behind their back, but. What do you think? Drew and Tiffany? Yeah, Drew and Tiffany. Well, honestly, I think, what if you put all this time, energy, love, trust into one person and you li literally built them up to be better for someone else? Bitch, I would be on snap. I was like, I ain't never heard nothing crazy about Finn. And she said he never told her that he loved her. And then Tiffany said she had a dude before she even came in here. They said she's like, she's with a So I'm like, I don't know. It's weird. Real weird. Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. I just think it's all a game to both of them. It just seems like she's one of those girls that she's sweet to us, but then when she get behind closed doors, like she's she a just mother real talk. So we ain't doing no drills today? That's the I think a lot it's, of tater -tater. Yeah. I think that might be the drill. That's probably the drill. Crazy. Attention all couples, come to the boot camp room now. Here we go. It's cold. Oh, I have a drink, my sister. I don't see the dots. The judge gonna come out on us. I don't know what about the day. Why did they this? Might be waterboarding. Is this day nine? It's day nine. Hey, guys. Dr. Ish and I were very clear. We're not here to save your relationships. We are here to give you the tools you need to make that decision for yourselves. This is your life. We're about to give you the greatest tool you're going to receive in boot camp, the truth. Mm. Care to help us get to it? It's Judge Lintola. Today is lie detector day. Wow. Ooh, that man in black. Five police officers walk out all in black, just looking like they're ready to just blame something on them. These folks are certified polygraph examiners. They have been in law enforcement for decades. You cannot get anything past them. They are literally 
lie detectors. These folks look like trench coat mafia. Law enforcement. <laughs> so for all of you who've had a burning question for your partner, today is the day that you get your answer. In boot camp, we encounter many relationships that are riddled with concerns about infidelity, commitment, different realities, and overall happiness. Quite often, what we find at the core of these concerns is the need for truth, which brings us to today's lie detector test. The lie detector test is one of boot camp's most powerful tools in breaking bad patterns. It not only gives our couples a chance to get truthful answers from their partners, but how they respond to those answers is equally as important. Will the polygraph team please follow us upstairs? Everybody gets one question that they want to ask their partner. And given what's been going on in the last nine days, that one burning question might set this house on fire. Little car, little car. OK, I'm going to ask you each a question that can be answered with yes or no. Simple as that. And if I don't think it's a good enough question, I'm going to overrule it, and then I'm going to throw it to the jury of your peers to see what they think the question ought to be. I'm going to start with Waka and Tammy. Damn. Tammy, mm -hmm. what is your question for Waka? Am I enough woman for you? Jury of the peers? That's a good question. I will accept the question, but I'm going to rephrase it. Enough woman is a relative term, and it's not easily defined. Tammy, you know Waka is loyal, but is he committed? The new question is, Waka, can you commit to Tammy for the rest of your life? Can I commit to her for the rest of our life? Why you ask that? You know I'm good. Waka, what is your question for Tammy? Would you ever trust me? The question is, do you trust me? Thank you very much. You two may have a seat. <clears throat> Nia, soldier, please stand up. Soldier, what's your question for Nia? Do you love me? Do you love me? What do you think about that question? Are you riding? Are you riding? No. <laughs> right, you rocking out? Is you rocking out with me or not? I love the way you phrased it, but overruled. Here's the question that's been raised a little bit over the last couple of days, and this is the question I want you to ask. Nia, do you stay with Soldier because of his money? Oh. Whoa. In a relationship, which I'd rather have, intimacy or money? I'd rather not have a relationship and just have money. You clear that up, and we know if you're riding or not. Oh. Nia, what question did you have for Soldier? If he's still mad at me for having a baby with someone else. Ooh. I want to know, <laughs> That's too. That's deep. That's deep. Overruled. We want to know the end game. Something that's come up many times. When are we gonna get married? What? I really love it, though, you know? So, yo, I know I want to marry her. I just want to get to the best place that we can be and move forward. I want to know if you'll propose to her within the next year. Ooh. Ooh. Man. Ooh. I was like, man, what the f Like, of course I want to get married, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I ain't trying to put no timeline on it. Like, f crazy. Have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you feel? That's crazy. <laughs> Tiffany. Drew. Stand up. Please. Fizz, what is your question for Tiffany? Have you found somebody in these past two months? Jury, what do you think about that question? That's deep. I will accept, but rephrase. We've been observing you for nine days now, and I still can't quite figure you out. The doctors and I have seen behavior like this before. It's often indicative of each of you having someone you care about more. Tiffany, your question from Fizz will be, are you currently exclusively dating another man? OK? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And Tiffany, I think turnabout is fair play in this instance. What I'm going to have Tiffany ask you, Fizz, is are you currently exclusively dating another woman? Same question turned around. I'm saying that it's Cap. But you're the one, OK. Have a seat. Jessica, Sean, please stand up. Jessica, what was your question for Sean? Will he ever marry me? Do you think that's a good question? I think that's what she's wanted to know all along. So I'm going to phrase it up a little bit for you. Will you marry Jessica within a year? 
<laughs> Sean, what is your question for Jessica? Uh, has she ever cheated on me since we've been together? Ooh. Coming up on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Deception was indicated. Deception was indicated. Deception was indicated. If Carl doesn't win my trust back, I don't think we're going to last. Has anybody ever taught you how to beat a lie detector test? Tonight, consider yourself single again. They let us take girls back to the crib. Hell yeah. It was like, who's this my husband talking to? I'm still a player, man. Ain't no rules tonight. Sean, what is your question for Jessica? Uh, has she ever cheated on me since we've been together? Oh, I feel like it was all bull. If I had anything to hide, I couldn't understand, but I don't. Why did you ask that question? I asked that because I was more comfortable asking that question. Actually, I am worried. Getting married in a year, I wasn't fully concrete on getting married in a year, you know, because it was doubt. So we're going to have to phrase it like this. Have you cheated on Sean since you've been exclusive? Lil Mo and Carl. Carl, what's your question for Mo? Do you trust me? Wow. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. But I'm going <laughs> to overrule it because Ooh. I think you trust her with a whole lot of stuff. Your life, your kids, the work, all of that kind of stuff. The question to Mo, do you believe Carl is currently cheating on you? That's your question for her. Now, Mo, what is your question for Carl? Are you in love with another woman? Oh. Jerry, what do you think about that question? Ooh, that's, that's deep. A that's a hard one. That's a deep one. Overruled. We have heard this story change multiple times over the past few days, and we are going to put this thing to bed. Mo, the question that you are going to ask him is, are you lying about who you were FaceTiming in the kitchen? I want to know that. Hello? Oh, <laughs> damn, Judge. Have a seat. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I don't know. I ain't saying no. I plead the fifth. Walker, soldier, Tiffany, Lil Mo, and Sean, up the stairs you go. <sighs> up the stairs you go. Come on. <sighs> so weird. It's a lot of detective tests. Hey, no matter what it say, man. I'm good anyway, regardless. Can't no machine tell me how much I'm a lover person. I just want to know before I go all the way in. Have you played with me? Have you ever played with me, you know? Hi. You must Hi. be Tiffany. Yes. How you doing? Good to meet you. I'm Walt. Have you used drugs or alcohol in the past 24 hours? Most of the people probably use weed today. Be truthful, I don't care. Okay. Did you use it today? Yeah. Have you dated other men mm -hmm. the last couple of months? I dated two in particular that kind of stuck out. He be doing sneaky with his friends. Like, they be on group text with Oh, no, I was on with my sister. This and that, you done lied to the doctor. Walker better pass this motherfucking poly red bitch or he's leaving by himself. No. Mm-hmm. Loyalty and commitment is two different things. He might have commitment issues, but they've always been loyal to me. Fizz, so hold up. We got some, we got some questions for you. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, have a seat in our in our lie detector chair. No, no cap. Uh, no in cap. The no cap chair. Come have a seat. <laughs> she ain't been inside since y'all got here. Then that's cap. I just feel like it's something else. Like she acting different, or you get the feeling when somebody's been, you know, interacting with somebody else. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Let me ask that question, cause then that would give me a bunch of clarity on it. But would it matter? Yeah, cause then I would be able to feel like I could trust her or not if she tell the truth. I'm nervous about this whole process because I have trust issues. And in my mind, exclusive is not the same thing as being intimate. Then that's not. too much for us, though, why we feel like she capping a lot, though. For real. I can tell right here when I'm sitting down, Walter, he's reading everything I'm doing. So you just got to be real. Walter, can see the face. Take all those deep breaths you want, get all those jitters out. <sighs> Test now begins. If I say one wrong thing, it's gonna f everything up. So I'm just right now, I'm getting prepared, you know? Will you marry Jessica within one year from now? But damn, you weren't offended like by him asking you that? 
I never thought he even thought I cheated on him. Maybe he just like, I just want to be for sure, for sure before for sure, we get married. Sure. Yeah, maybe so. Are you currently exclusively dating another man? I ain't with nobody. I ain't been dating nobody in the past two months, so. <laughs> Do you think Carl is currently cheating on you? Can you commit to Tammy for the rest of your lives? Will you propose to Neil within the next year? Yes. This testing sequence is now complete. That's a hard question. That is like impossible. The test is complete. You can relax. You think Mo going to say that she trusts you? I ain't tripping at all. Not to worry, yeah. We got them. Lie the tip, the tip. Oh, that with your mind. And then you get turned. Remaining boot campers, report to your room for your lie detector. I've had Carl take a lie detector test before, and it came back that he was being deceitful. Ironically, it was about the same issue. What happened the last time you took a test? It was saying, it basically said I was trying to avoid the question or something like that. I did one before. Basically, if you're supposed to be lying, the heart rate's a, a pump fast. One we said that's the Catholic crew right there. Oh. Y'all. <laughs> Walk my woman. Don't try to be nice to me, but I hope you pass that damn test. Ain't no capping going on. <laughs> Hello. Sam, yeah, right yep. here? Yeah, it's the perfect spot. Okay. What's going on? Hey, I'm Jeff. What's up? What's going on, Jeff? What's What's here? Here? I had called Duo before. That motherfucker came back deceptive as He was like, nah, because the way he asked him, he was like, man, dang what y'all asked me. He was like, oh my god. Because he tries to outsmart the polygrapher. He's the master manipulator with always thinking, like, you ain't going to trick me to say something. Everybody don't lie no. to their mom, their dad, their spouse, their self. They want to know about this incident in the kitchen. So it does my sister. OK. That's crazy. Is this what I'm sitting on? That's an emotion pad. That's wow. part of the sensors that we have. In your butt? Uh, on your butt. <laughs> You're seated on it. I don't feel like he's ever done much for me financially for me to stay. I'm a little scared that me being nervous gonna affect this, and I don't really know how that works. Is he a guy that just, he's been cheated on before, so he thinks you know all women cheat? He has been cheated on before. I've had sex in these past two months. In the past two months? And it's not been with Tiffany. Okay. And is she aware of that? So he's gotta go. Raise your arms. Lean forward just slightly. You gotta sit perfectly still. I'm sorry, damn. So what if I fart? Like, if I have gas or my That's stomach... my wife. And I'm getting hot and my fingers start sweating because I'm trying to hold the fart in because I'm trying to be courteous. Is that gonna show the test as being deceitful? I'm gonna blow the butt pad up. <laughs> you stay with Soldier Boy because of his money. Are you currently exclusively dating another woman? No. Have you cheated on Sean since you have been exclusive? No. The test is stressing me out because it's just a weird situation. It feels like you're going into the electric chair. Do you trust Walker? Did you lie to Mo about who you were on FaceTime with? Everything went down, and I was accused of this, accused of that. I mean, we're going to see <laughs> what the truth is. But I know I ain't tripping. No. I know that I was telling the truth about the main question, like the question about Neil. I know I passed. Where's, where's Sean at? what they ask him? It's over. Huh? Sean went back to Memphis. No way. He ain't leaving without Jessica. Sorry, that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jessica, that's it. Test is over. Please remain still while I take the instrument out of operation. All right, Carl. I told the truth, so, you know, all I can do is hope that the test is real. <laughs> coming out, whatever, I wasn't tripping on it. What it looked like it, it isn't what it is. It was nerve-wracking. It really was. was. I just, I don't know, y'all. <laughs> a lie is a lie, and I don't want to like, lie on national television, so it just makes you nervous. It's just nerve-wracking, period. He ain't on that It's just a weird feeling. I know I passed. Did you pass? Coming up on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition, Deception was indicated. This is my real life. This is all I got. Tonight, consider yourself single again. I got options. Go pick up some new options tonight. 
That's your twin sister? Wanna get some action tonight. Being on that it's just a weird feeling. I know I passed. Did you pass? I don't know. I know I'm not lying about nothing. I know I never cheated on you, but it's just weird. You ask me something that's like, I never want him to think I cheated on him. That's nervous already. Like, damn, he think I cheat on him? Well, Jessica fails the test. I don't know what that means about setting up a wedding day. You better hope that test come back right. This or yeah. her mother. You better <laughs> hope that test come back right. I hope you committed. <laughs> well, you think he committed? I'll see. My heart is beating. Well, you think he passed? I, I pray he did. No. OK. Call. I ain't capping. I know I'm telling the truth, so I mean, ain't nothing like I'm worried about, really. The ladder take the kid come back wrong. I'm going with soldiers. Okay. Ain't no, you ain't got nothing without no trust. Shit about to get real. What you think about this? Hi. My first instinct say, like, she going. I don't care. I went on a date. I went on a couple dates. And she was just like, OK. So your answer is yes. I was like, yes, my answer is yes. You're crazy. Well, you know what you say. I know. So this test is really gonna confirm some for you, though. Seriously. Yeah. I don't know. I passed that. But every time he doing something with certain people, it's always some nut. And, and he gets be up capping. And be capping. I said, just own your. That's all you gotta do. Oh, you have to take in consideration all that we have to lose. And I wonder if we're being repaired or we just skating through because we ready to get this over with. Once he leave here, is this going to, like, be consistent? And if that's what we're doing, then we can't be together. Like, for real. Attention all couples. Come to the boot camp room now. Ooh, we got the judge out. Ooh. I know that somebody finna fail this lie detector test. Facts. <sighs> Let's get to the results of your lie detector test. Waka and Tammy. Tammy, mm -hmm. your question to Waka was, can you commit to you, Tammy, for the rest of your lives? Waka, your answer to that question was what? Yes. And there was no deception indicated. <laughs> now, Waka, you asked Tammy, do you trust me? And Tammy, what was your answer? No. Why no? I trust him with my life. I trust him with my child. I trust him to keep me safe. But when it comes to our relationship, I don't know if I quite trust him fully. No deception was indicated. I heard it bad, real bad. And it was it actually made me feel like I didn't get nowhere. The whole Literally. time? Whole time. Sorry, baby. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was just trying to be honest. It hurt. Please have a seat. Dre, <laughs> Nia, please stand up. The question I asked Nia to answer is: Do you stay with Soldier because of his money? And your answer was no. And no deception was indicated. Nia, the question I asked Soldier to answer was, will you propose to Nia within the next year? And Soldier, what was your answer? Yes. Yeah. And there was no deception indicated. Wow. Is that news to you, Nia? A little bit. Our journey doesn't really start as far as me knowing if he's changed till we leave here. Got to walk it like you talk it, Trey. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> I believe that. Drew, Tiffany. Tiffany, we asked you, are you currently exclusively dating another man? And Tiffany, what did you say? Yes. And no deception was indicated. I have gone on three dates <laughs> with the same man. I, I told him, give me a minute. Let me figure it out what I'm doing with Drew. 
before I move forward with you. Now, Drew, did you expect that? I seen on her Snapchat before. You know it's exclusive, though. Yeah, but that part. We haven't talked in the past two months, and now you want to come out and say, like, oh, you've been dating somebody? How am I supposed to trust that? Drew, are you surprised? Nah, because she never told me that. I gotta say, it surprised me. All that crying she was doing <laughs> about you. I definitely love Drew. I do. So if Drew says all the side, we're going to do this, then that's what the hell we doing. We're doing this, period. Tiffany, I asked him the same question I asked you, which was, are you currently exclusively dating another woman? And Drew, your answer to that was? No. Deception was indicated. That's crazy. Excuse me, that's the only person I with. And he was like, nah. I did want you to be with, but she not exclusive with him. That's what I'm saying. You is the one capping all the time. <laughs> I wasn't lying. Yeah, you're lying. No, I wasn't. But you two have a seat. You get on my list, keep calling me that. Whatever. Mo and Carl, please stand up. I asked Mo. Do you think Carl is currently cheating on you? And Mo, what was your answer? No. And no deception was indicated. Hmm. Mo, we asked Carl, are you lying about who you were on FaceTime with in the kitchen. Your answer was what? No. Listen, the lie detector test can say anything they want, but I know what I've done, I know what I did. And no deception was indicated. Ooh, yay! <laughs> oh, y'all, man, I give me my props for taking up on my board. I was shocked. I thought Carl was capping. <laughs> Carl, Mo. Did you guys come to some resolution and some decision about who was on the FaceTime? Yeah, we, we talked. Yes. And now that it's out in the open, can you tell us? No. <laughs> OK. <sighs> Carl, I, I just got to know, has anybody ever taught you how to beat a lie detector test? <laughs> Real talk. Carl, yes. I don't know. I ain't getting that man business. He made it our business when he did in the house. Because we heard you no. talking about it. No. I don't, like, how can I be the lie to Well, you this? brought it up. You were talking oh. about it earlier. Oh, y'all, we, it was in a, in a conversation. I didn't bring it up. Got to ask, brother. Yeah, he passed. Let's just sit down. Let's just sit down. Because if you can't trust your partner, who can you trust? Like, that's who you lay next to every night. Sean, Jessica, please stand up. I'm just ready to hear the results, move on to the next day, and get out of this house. Jessica, you asked Sean, will you marry Jessica within a year from now? And Sean, what was your answer? Yes. No deception was indicated. Now, Jessica, the question Sean asked you to answer was, have you cheated on Sean since you two have been exclusive? And your answer to that question was? No. And the test determined. Coming up on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. Tonight, you're going to be going to a club. Oh, we shouldn't be thinking about them. And then let's take girls back to the crib. Let me, let me. Shut up. We go over there and see some Oh, wait till we pop up on that ass. We basically came back with both of our tests. Deceit was not detected, so 
That was a great relief because the only people that can pass those and they're really lying are sociopaths. So I'm not trying to be funny, but you know, you just never know. I might not tell her the whole truth. I might leave bits and pieces out the uh, bits and pieces of the story out because I don't. I don't. I might not like the reaction she's have to. She'll have to. It. Jessica, the question Sean asked you to answer was, have you cheated on Sean since you two have been exclusive? And your answer to that question was? No. And the test determined deception was indicated. It was shocking just failing her test. Crazy. Be for real. For real. Damn. Did you have any concerns? Not really, no real concern. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he could ask me a question like that. Sean, I think you guys have a unique opportunity to have what a lot of couples don't get to have, and that's a really honest conversation right. about what infidelity actually means to the both of you. And in the event something happened, you need to ask her. Jessica, you share with them what was it that you felt like you had that you didn't have with Sean? What was it you were looking for there that I wasn't providing for you? And then you can guys can move forward from that. I never even cheated on him, period. Since we've been exclusive in, in a relationship, he noted I have I never, never, never. The answers are what they are, but what you do with what that answer is is completely and utterly up to you. I'm concerned, but it ain't no pressure, you know? Whatever it is, I know Jessica and I will be able to get through it. They lying. It feels great when Sean says he does not believe the bull lie to take the test. I know for a fact that I've never cheated on him. You have your final tool. What I put to you is, what are you going to do with that information? Will it help you make your decision tomorrow night? Or will the truth be too much truth for you to handle? You came to boot camp with endless possibilities, only together or apart. 24 hours from now, your time in boot camp will be over. Although only one answer matters, you have to ask yourself many questions. Have you grown? Has your partner grown? Has your relationship dynamic actually changed? Boot camp isn't about one day or one drill. It's about the sum of all parts. To make your decision, you need some time apart to reflect. So tonight, consider yourself single again. Hell no. What? Ladies, you're going to be going to a club. Gentlemen, you will also be going to a club. I'm up in that bitch. Yeah. I'm like, hey, cuz, like, it's me. You ain't never hey, over here. Hey, over here. Ain't no joke. This Shut up. Thing. Before you leave, those that are married or engaged, place your rings in these boxes. Jessica. Well, I got a tattoo, so I'm cool. I'm excited to be getting out the house. Just going to have some drinks, you know, let off a little steam and chill out. I'm happy. I'm just hoping we're going to the strip club. Tomorrow, you're going to be given your partner's ring box. If you present them with their ring or promise ring that we provide you with, it means you want to leave boot camp together stronger. If the box is empty, it signifies the end of your relationship and you leave here apart. Consider this your whole pass. They can't say whether you get a hall pass or not. They said they consider this your hall pass. Oh, OK. <laughs> That hall pass. I am the hall pass. Use this time apart wisely, guys. Head upstairs, go get dressed for the clubs. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Keep over, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know I ain't cheating on me. He knows in his heart that I've never done anything like that. And I would never do anything like that. That machine cap. Right. I was nervous, but I was on the nerves when he put this stuff on me. I was moving a little bit, but I, when he told me to be still, I was still. Well, I told you I wanted to marry you. You thought I was lying, huh? Yeah, then they talking about we single again. What the f No, we ain't worried about that at all. I'm a legend, B. I think I want to kiss somebody teach me how to beat the lottery. I'm almost be crazy again, huh? Must be so scary. I see you getting our glitter and glamour for the club, right? We single tonight, though. Ooh, bruh, you serious right now? If I see my girl with a nun, 
hugged up, cut, kissing up. She's not getting no ring. It's done. It's over. She got to behave tonight. You know what I'm saying? We're going to the club. I have reached day nine, and I am pretty much over the entire situation at this point. So I'm having myself a drink. All bad in the movie tonight. All bad. They said you sing. They ain't going to find out, though. What the hard, the hard saying, pass like, is They going to know this All pass All pass me. You can, you can do what you want to do for the night. For real, tonight ain't no rules tonight. We're going to see who's going to get the most numbers tonight. I'm sad. You ain't sad. Bitch, I'm sad. For what? Because. Girl. Shit. Should have been honest. If I were you and I was with him in this house for as long as I was and I didn't get like no nut, bitch, I'd be so over it. You ain't got time to be sad. Hey, it's a party in this mother. Why give the couples a night out? Because this time apart gives them time to reflect on the lie detector results and their time here at boot camp. Tearing the club up isn't just a big part of hip hop culture, it's actually a part of their job. So after nine days of boot camp, will the club be a welcome break to prove they can use their new tools, or will this turn into a whole nother kind of trap house? Hey, man, it's a motherfucking celebration, man. We made it, right? Who's gonna make it, bro? Let's hit it. Let's go to the club. We about to get the out of here. Soul in the flesh. I want to get some action tonight. <laughs> I want to see some new faces. I want to smell a different fragrance on the woman. And then I'll take girls back to the crib. Hell oh, yeah. See you later. <laughs> we might later. come back. <laughs> I don't know. I might be single for the night. <laughs> I'm excited to hang out with the girls. We actually see their personality. See everybody cut loose. She it's is crazy. ready. <laughs> she hyped. That bitch ran. <laughs> OK, party bus. Party over here. Bitch, I'm showing my ass tonight. <laughs> tonight, I'm finna reevaluate my life, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. getting in some trouble, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I told him about the little date. I told him. He said you did. I did. Yeah, he did say you I did. I did. Stop lying. He said, said, said you did. Yo, with your fancy. I'm on some other tonight, man. After this whole lie detector thing happening, Tiffany's been dating, it doesn't leave a good taste in my mouth. You start laughing, though, bro. I did, because I was like, you got that other You feel me? It is what it is, then. That part. Hey. Hey. <laughs> if it's anybody's bachelor party tonight, it's mine. It's a strip club. It is? Yeah. Oh, it's going down. Coming up on Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition. If it's anybody's bachelor party tonight, it's mine. They here. I want to catch him in the act. We made it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> this is strip club. This ain't It is? Yeah. This AOD? Oh, it's going down. Not any strip club. AOD. <laughs> Tiffany's old strip club. <laughs> Y'all got a bigger cup. The goal at night in the club is to have a good damn time, come back drunk, throw up in the toilet, wake up with a hangover, and take another shot just to balance it off again. Oh, Lord. Y'all are taking me back. So we are really going to AOD. Oh, I know exactly where we're going. We're going to the script club. <laughs> Single Britney night. Bitch, you showing back up in a major way. <laughs> <laughs> Being back here, I'm so ready to turn up. Like, give me my scripper, give me some ones. It's about to be lit. Some I missed, some I didn't. Some are my babies, some are like, eh, whatever, hey, bitch. It feels good to get out and have fun with our car because I'm so used to him being there. So, like, we about to turn up. I 
this is interesting. It's like old times right now, man. I'm feeling, <laughs> feeling like I'm about to be a beast tonight. So being that I used to work here, I know this club is like the back of my hand. I have to go through the entire club just to get to the bathroom. Ladies, they're here. I'll be right over there. Take me to your leader because I want to catch him in the act. What happened to the hall pass, bro? No, they cannot come in. When I seen Jessica at the club, I was relieved. I just wanted somebody to rub on, you know, touch on and feel on, and that I ain't have to tip. They're sitting there acting like they're happy to see us, but we know you aren't. I'm having a good time in my life. I, where is Drew? The f we left a little early. Reasons why alcohol kicked in. Oh, now all of a sudden the guys are ready to go home. Y'all mad because we came, we f***ed up your flow. Look at here, baby. Where did this f*** talk to my body? It was like, who's this my husband talking to? <laughs> I'm still a player, man. Let me call it. <laughs> hey. Next on Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. After last night, I like being insane. This is my real life. This is how I like that. Please, God. I don't think they're coming back. It all leads to one final question. Will we leave with our girls? The decision is going to devastate our whole family. I don't trust you. So You mean everything to me. I'm not worried about you. Yeah, you should be worried. 